are today at the Washington Wine Awards, and I'm talking with good friend and excellent winemaker Kay Simon from Chinook Wines in Prosser, Washington. Welcome, Kay. Thank you, Jamie. Over from foggy Yakima Valley, but that's what keeps the grapes dormant this time of year, so we don't mind the fog. Excellent. And you know, you are a veteran. You have been in this business for a long time. Um, you don't have to tell me how long, but I'm guessing it's well more than 25 years. Chinook just passed its 31st harvest and prior to that I worked for Chateau Saint-Michel and so it's been a few. So we can say 30 plus. I think 30 plus is good. Okay, Chinook wines, some of my favorite wines have been for years and um, I know that you are a person who uh, attention to detail is really important. The way you craft your wine, the relationships that you garner in the industry. Um, for people that don't know about Chinook, tell us a little bit about your winery, a little bit about your wines and where you're located. We are truly a mom and pop winery. We're located in Prosser, Washington, which is in the lower Yakima Valley. And we've been in business, as I said, for 31 harvest seasons. My husband is a viticulturist. Uh, he, you know, started his career as a vineyard manager. Now we call him the CFO, which is the chief forklift operator on some days. <laughs> and the CFO on others. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah okay. it's, it suits him. In fact, that's probably what he's doing right now because we had our distributor uh, placed in order and he's probably loading that pallet into the truck as we speak. So, so over, over the course of 30 years or 25 or however many it's been at Chinook, how much has the winery grown in terms of case production? The winery hasn't grown a lot, but we have grown in terms of our capabilities, our technical capabilities, um, as the winery has aged, uh, we have been able to purchase better and better equipment, and so technologically we're in a much better space than we were when we first started. Excellent. And when you first started out, and you had said you had been with Chateau St. Michel, and uh, you decided to venture out on your own, and what was the vision then for Chinook? I think it was pretty much what we've achieved, which was we wanted to be hands-on. When we were working in the corporate wine world, we found that we were managing people Neither one of us really liked that, and I certainly wasn't very good at it. And so I'd rather be managing the product because that's what I'm trained. I'm trained as a winemaker. So I like to really be doing hands-on winemaking and working in the cellar. That's what I love. Are most of your grapes from the Yakima Valley? All of our grapes are from Yakima Valley, and uh, they're all locally sourced. So all the grapes come from within about 15 miles of the winery. It's the 15-mile grape diet. Is that? It's going <laughs> to... I like it. So, um, so now I know, you know, it seemed like for, uh, for a few years there, Yakima didn't seem to be getting its due in terms of being this premier grape-growing region that it is. And I w was really happy to see in the last few years, I think that's really turned around and there's been a lot of notoriety about, one, the amount of grapes that come from the Yakima Valley, and two, the quality of the grapes. So if you could speak to that for a minute, that would be great. I'd love to. Some of the very first grapes grown in the state were grown in Yakima Valley the Bridgman Vineyard and a couple of others, Alhambra, that were uh, Yakima Valley originals and Washington State originals. Um, but over, to, over time, the valley has proven itself to be able to raise a diverse number of varieties. And the Yakima Valley is, isn't quite as simple as some would think. We include Red Mountain, which is quite warm. We include some, some lower, uh, close to the river vineyards that are cooler, and then some just wonderful vineyards on the south-facing slopes uh, in, the, in the premium sites in the valley. It's, a, it's an actually pretty large region overall. It is, and it's not as large as Columbia Valley, but it's... <laughs> the vast Columbia Valley. The vast Columbia Valley. But um, anyway, we're happy to be where we are. Good. Well, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to uh, hear more about Yakima Valley, and I, I believe they're coming up to an anniversary as well, or they just had one. They, they just had one. In fact, uh, Kelly Hightower and I just blended a 30 anniversary wine uh, for Wine Yakima Valley. Fantastic. And is that available for consumers to purchase as well? It was actually uh, for the auction of Washington Wines, and so it's already purchased, so to speak. <laughs> Sorry folks, you can't get your hands on that one, but you can certainly get your hands on some Chinook Wines, and uh, I think one of my, uh, two of my favorites from you, they're all my favorites, but my favorites are Cabernet Franc and your Rosé that is just unmatched, 
And uh, so where can people find out more information about Chinook Wines? Thanks, Jamie. Uh, that would be ChinookWines.com. <laughs> and, and we're pouring tonight, we're pouring our Cabernet Franc 2011 for the first time. So come try it. Excellent. And she will also be at the Seattle Wine and Food Experience coming up on February 23rd. So you can try Chinook Wines there. Thanks so much, Kay.